Monday, the Dow was down more than 1,000 points and flirted with a four-month low, all before a dramatic rally just ahead of the closing bell. The Dow closed nearly 100 points after the 1,200-point swing and the larger such swing since 2008. The S&P and Nasdaq both finished the day in green. Opening arguments in the trial of three former Minnesota police officers charged with violating George Floyd's civil rights began on Monday. J. Alexander King, Thomas Lane, and Doe Tao are charged with failing to provide medical care. All the while, former officer Jer Derek Chauvin knelt on Floyd's neck for more than nine minutes. Chauvin pleaded guilty to the federal charges last year. The ex-officer's attorneys placed the blame on Chauvin, inexperience, and lack of proper training provided by the Minneapolis police. However, prosecutors say that all three men had the ability to step in and stop the slow-motion death. Three firefighters are dead after the collapse of a burning Baltimore row house. Four firefighters were trapped inside the three-story vacant building after the collapse. Crews were able to immediately pull one of them, but the remaining three did not survive. The firefighters were honored Monday afternoon with a processional through the city. President Biden is weighing his options as Russia appears to be on the brink of invading Ukraine. The U.S. and NATO allies are readying forces in an effort to send a clear message to Moscow to back off. NBC's Bree Jackson reports the latest from Washington. President Biden weighing his options as Russia appears to be on the brink of invading Ukraine. On the table, sending U.S. troops to Eastern Europe to help strengthen NATO allies. The defense secretary putting 8,500 soldiers on heightened alert status ready to deploy. We have been uh, consulting with allies in deployments and refining plans for all scenarios. We've always said we would reinforce our allies on the eastern flank. The president spent part of the day speaking with several European allies as they try to anticipate Russian President Vladimir Putin's next move. And that's exactly the way Putin wants it right now. He likes the uncertainty. He likes the ambiguity. He likes seeing us negotiate with ourselves. Russia has 100,000 troops amassed at the Ukrainian border. The U.S. has ordered families of U.S. embassy staff to leave the capital city of Kyiv and suggested a voluntary departure for non-essential workers due to the continued threat of Russian military action. Ukraine called the move premature as people in the capital go about their lives as normal. Vladimir Putin has a lot of tools at his disposal. He's great at the gray zone, at the hybrid warfare. Russia denies planning to invade its neighbor and blames the West for stoking tensions. But let's be clear. There is only one country with 100,000 troops prepositioned on the border, participating in war games and spreading propaganda, and that's Russia. Congressional Republicans want President Biden to impose sanctions on Russia now to deter an invasion. Democrats want him to wait and see. Chris Pallone, NBC News, Washington.